Hey guys, it's Amit from Unlimited Elements and in this tutorial I'm going to show how to take a jQuery plugin you find on the web, any jQuery plugin. It can be galleries, sliders, accordions, tabs, anything you find. And turn that into a, a dynamic Elementor widget in just a couple of minutes with just basic coding knowledge. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going into Unlimited Elements and I'm going to click add give my widget a name looks good it's been added to the catalog I can find it now in Elementor but let's go through the steps we need to convert this jQuery plugin into a widget so we have tabs over here the first tab I'm going to go through is HTML going back to the example and I'm going to copy my HTML from the example looks good next thing I'm going to do is I'm going into the JavaScript tab and I'm going to copy the JavaScript now to avoid conflicts that there might be with other libraries I'm going to change this dollar sign into the word jQuery cool this is looking good in the JS includes tab this is where we can add other libraries and external files that we upload or from CDNs so the first thing I'm going to need is the jQuery library so I'm going to add a checkbox over here and I'm going back to the example into the getting started tab and over here we can see there is a CSS that we need to include and a JavaScript that we need to include so let's copy the CSS I'm copying only the link you don't need to copy all of the HTML copy the link and we're going to paste it over here as you can see it selected it correctly and it's going to load once this widget is on the page What's nice about unlimited elements is that it loads only what it needs for the widget to work. Let's copy, paste, and I think we have everything set up. I'm going to test this real quickly even though we don't have any settings yet, but I just want to see that it's working. So going into pages, add new edit and let's scroll down we'll find it over here my carousel drag it inside perfect looks good so everything seems to be working but we don't have an option to edit the items or anything else in that matter so I'm just going to save this and let's, let's click publish and exit to dashboard back into unlimited elements double click to edit and over here in the item attributes we're going to enable items and go into the HTML in the HTML I'm going to cut out all of the items and replace that with the put items attribute this creates a repeater and the item for the repeat repeater is down here Adam item HTML we're gonna leave only one and we need to decide what are the settings for this repeater so I'm going into item attributes I'm gonna add an attribute that's called image select an image type field and click add let's go back here and replace the static image into our attribute that we just added I think everything here is about done next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a default image so for that I need to create a folder
we have our folder we need to create it as the path for our widget let's upload an image mm, I don't have anything here let's really quickly download something from here looks good let's upload that make sure it's set make sure to save and let's go into item attributes to the image and over here we can select this as the default image looks good next step is creating some default items so for that we need to go into add-on defaults and click add I'm gonna duplicate this and these will be the default items once someone adds this to the page cool so I think we have everything saved and everything is set up last thing we need to do is to test this so again I'm gonna add a new page edit with Elementor scroll down to find the widget that I created push that to the page cool and these are the default images we added let's edit those as you can see these are the four ones we've added I'm gonna delete and I'm going to add some new ones so to edit this let's select a different image for example this one and over here let's select this one and for the first one let's go for this one cool let's publish and preview and as you can see it's working I think this carousel needs a couple more items but overall it's working just fine so that was a quick overview really quick overview of all the tools you have in unlimited elements to create your custom widgets take any plugin jQuery plugin you find on the web and turn that into a dynamic element or widget sometimes client clients want specific types of galleries and we don't always have those so we need the ability to create that that's what this tool is for and you can also edit existing any one of the existing so let me just show that for example if we're going into unlimited elements into video galleries let's just download one of the galleries and what's nice about this is everything is open source you can see how everything is built so if we're going into HTML you see it's built very similar to what we just created and you can see uh, all the includes that it's including you can see the JavaScript and how we created attributes from certain JavaScript parameters that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoy and if you have any questions please post them in the comments and we're here to answer them. Thank you and see you next time.